An accident scene investigator, this is one of the jobs you could get, um, determines by measuring skid marks that a car strikes a parked car at 8.2 meters per second after having decelerated 9.60. So they can figure that out from the skid marks, right? For a distance, they can measure the length. So next time you look on the freeway, right, when there's an accident, you'll see these little um, paint marks around the uh, skid marks and marks on the road. Somebody has investigated that. Okay, that's what they're doing. That's what that's about. Okay, I feel like that's the final velocity, right? Because it says after. Right, decelerated, this guy has to be our acceleration, right? It's also our deceleration, right? This is meters per second, meters per second, per second, right? 17 meters, that's got to be our displacement because it has the units in meters, right? Right, what was the initial velocity of the car? Right, so we want to use no t, right? We have a formula for that. No t is this guy, vf squared is vi squared plus 2ax. Let's carefully plug these numbers in. So this is 8.20 squared is vi squared plus 2 times negative 9.6 times 17. Okay, so let's figure out this this um, term right here. Okay, so 2 times negative 9.6 times 17. It's going to be a big number. Negative 326.4. And then 8.2 squared. 67.24 right so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add this to both sides right so that guy plus which uh, yeah 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 that's what I'm doing I get three ninety three point six four equals vi squared. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll figure out the absolute value of the initial velocity by taking the square root of this, right? So square root, square root. And that'll give us the absolute value of vi. Um, I do believe, though, that this there's no question that this car was moving in the same direction as its final velocity. So I'm going to take the square root of this. And the way you do that is you go uh, second square root, second answer, OK? I get 19.84 meters per second. Ta-da. 